So what does technology want? When I was a young engineer, I wrote a few articles for Wired magazine. And in those days, Kevin Kelly was not just the founder of Wired magazine, he was my editor-in-chief. I had a chance to meet him and you know, he was not an easy editor-in-chief. But he is the author of that famous book, What Technology Wants. And I really bought into his philosophy. It would be very naive for us humans to think that we are the end state. Maybe technology is the direction, technology is the vector that we have to consider ourselves humans as just mere mortals who take technology to that next level, that next step. So if you ask me, what does technology want? Technology wants one thing, continued progress, a very clear vector to actually think about that next level. We are merely the ones that get it there because technology really has a will of its own. I am an avid collector of old computers, vintage machines. So if you ask me to pick one object that really stands out, that's not an easy choice to make. It would be this. This is the original Macintosh. came out in 1984 and changed my life. I think the Mac was something truly insanely great. It changed our ideas of what a computer could actually be. And for me, when I was a young boy at the age of 14, and I saw my first Mac, it blew my mind. So for me, it's very simple. The object that I would cherish more than anything else, the original 1984 Macintosh. If you ask me about a book, this is probably one of the most interesting books I've ever seen. This is the Whole Earth Catalog. As a matter of fact, this is the last Whole Earth Catalog. In these wonderful books, you had everything. You know, things like computer programs, to recipes for guacamole, to even how to do arable farming out into the desert. It was a strange combination of technology, innovation, but human, mankind at the center. The back of the book is the best part of the book. It has a picture of the earth and it says we can't put it together, it is together. Technology, innovation, but mankind at the very heart. My favorite book, The Whole Earth Catalog.